Still ahead tonight on Time Warner Cable 8 News at 7. So just what happens when a recent VIP Chautauqua teams up with a former VIP Chautauqua? The results will be music to your ears. That and more coming up after the break. Time now for our VIP Chautauqua with Cable 8's James Reed. Tonight, part two of our profile of children's illustrator Pam Spermuli. Actually, I'm a graphic illustrator to begin with, and I had done the birds for my first book and um, as an art show. And I just love birds, and they were swarming around in my head, so I was like, oh, let's do an art show with the birds. So I had them all done. But then lots of people were like, oh, this would make an awesome book. So I'm like, okay, great. So I kind of redid it and reconfigured it and put it into a book. And it took me about a year, but a publisher in New Hampshire picked it up. And thus came Letterbirds. And then, um, and I was very successful. I got a Mom's Choice Award for the illustrations. And then I had another concept called Woof, and that actually came about because I was doing some commission work and doing portraits of animals. And um, I kind of had a market, and people were asking, oh, this would be another great children's book. So I um, put together kind of my favorite dogs, and I had a friend of mine that just so happened to live in my town in Chagrin Falls that's a writer, and he ended up writing these wonderful um, verses and rhymes for the book. And then, um, again, my publisher really loved it, and I was fortunate enough to have Woof released in the spring. So how does popular local musician and former VIP Chautauqua subject Jackson Rahm tie into Mrs. Spermuli's venture into the wonderful world of children's books? We grew up together. We've known each other since about seventh grade, and um, he now lives in Cleveland as well. So I asked him after I had Letterbirds um, and I was doing my story times, it's an ABC book, so I'm like, oh, maybe just sing the book. You know, A is for Akipa, B is for Bluebird, just so I have a little tune to go with it. Well, he came back a day later, wrote the song in two hours, and the song has a verse for every single bird in the book with this fabulous chorus. I mean, it's just amazing. It's truly an awesome song. So I now play that when I do my story times. Um, I have a little a YouTube video of it. You could go to YouTube and view that. And, um, and it's great. And he doesn't really like to sing it because he's not a children's person, you know, children's uh, singer. But every once in a while, you know, request Letterbirds when he's <laughs> singing because it's a great song and it's great for the kids. So I was really fortunate. All right. Thanks, James. Now, both of Mrs. Spermuli's books are available for purchase anywhere books are sold. For more information, you can find her online via the website listed there on your screen.